Checkmate to the Knight and Bishop is considered probably the most difficult to execute over the board or online. Um, there was an instance of a Grandmaster who even uh, messed it up so much that they actually they weren't able moving the pieces back and forth. So I'll try to make it very clear, but make no mistakes, all the Grandmasters know how to execute this uh, checkmate. But for the fun of it, and maybe you would be having it once uh, in a lifetime or maybe never, we never know. Um, it is good to having this knowledge and I will explain as clearly as I can. Now, if the um, bishop is on a dark square, uh, you will deliver the checkmate on any uh, of the two uh, squares corresponding in color with your bishop's diagonal. So it's going to be either a1 or h8. It's not going to be ever, uh, it's not going to be in this position here with the bishop, it's not going to be a8 or h1. It's not going to be, okay? Now, you need to together working with your pieces as much as possible lead the onslaught with your king and then coordinate your knight and your bishop and you'll deliver a checkmate using the so-called w technique which i'm going to play it right now myself i'm using a bot on one of those chess platforms available to everybody and let's proceed my chess friends so uh knights being attacked now right so uh, i don't want, i don't want to lose my knight so just moving the knight and as i said as much as possible try to use the king to approach the opponent's king pushing them onto the rim okay as much as possible can i move the king uh not really can't move the king but i can move the knight okay uh, let's see, perhaps can I just drop back a little bit the bishop because I want to push this guy and accompany them at the end, at the edge of the board. Now, the king naturally, uh, if you ever happen to find yourself in this kind of position with the having the losing side, try to keep your king as much as possible in the center, then run towards the uh, square opposite the color of your opponent's bishop. So in this case, obviously, the software uh, went onto the white square. And uh, now it's going to be probably the most, uh, the, the, the funniest stage of the execution here, because the pattern you guys need to understand is that the king is uh, having, it will have to be opposing the black king. The black king must be in front of your king. The knight needs to find its way here. In, front, in between the two kings, and the bishop will have to be re-rotated over to b8, and the king will be driven onto a1. This is move number nine, by the way, so I think we need to do this under 50 moves, and I'm very confident we will. Okay, so now I need to find a way to moving my guys. Uh, that's very easy to obtain, not a problem. Also, I could checkmate here, not a, pre uh, a problem, but I wanna move my knight. So let me see, how can I dance around a bit with my guy here? One two and three hey that makes sense let's just proceed okay no panic cool stuff now i could do it in both ways i actually can lead the bishop this way to this square or the king uh, from this square to a1 which one pick up your pick up your things guys which one is it yeah heck let's go this way okay cool doesn't matter so the w technique now <clears throat> involves driving the king here it has to be driven here and the pattern is bishop onto this very square with the knight in between the two kings so now we're gonna now we're gonna drive the king and what we're gonna do is something like this okay so we're gonna play this technique here so let's just do it king runs away obviously i'm following with my king now don't panic what does the black king want to do here guys it's actually to escaping onto g6 and, uh, you know, you're going to start all over again and probably you're going to draw in the end because you're going to go beyond 50 moves unless you play this particular move, which is super cool because forms a barrier stopping g6 and uh, f5 from the king, but g6 currently. But now there is another thing. The black king wants to go onto h6, so we got to cover that square as well. Let me put some blue paint or maybe some red paint on all the squares we're going to be blocking from the black king and now the bishop comes into power again let me highlight the barrier blue paint or red paint don't matter okay this this and this look at that and this so this is the barrier the black king cannot move in check depicted on the screen now as it and painted on the screen with the beautiful blue paint here that's what my eyes perceive <clears throat> so now the king has got to move oh it's my turn okay king f6 now i want to maintain the blockade Again, 
that's taken, 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 taken. Okay, and now let me reduce a little bit because, by the way, I want to get the same position with the king here and the bishop on c7 now. So I'm going to play this. Don't panic. You can move the king on any of the squares that I'm highlighting now. Just don't move it on c7 because the king is going to take you, going to draw. That will be a shame. For the fun of it, let's play this and this. This is the pattern you actually have to uh, recognize and to play. Again, the double. You remember we started here. Bang, boom, bang, boom. Okay, cool. The king wants to go to the other side. Oh no, what do I do? Just continue the W technique. Have no fear. You're defending the knight, obviously. Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Okay, uh, let's just play nicely here. Again, the king wants to go onto this square. Let's block this, playing this. And now again, I know it's just uh, getting very typical, but that's the pattern. It works. I've done it. My friends, my students, my teachers, they all do it. It's okay. We can do it. Really? All the students are doing it? Ah, well, anyway, but you're going to do it. You're absolutely going to do it. And now we've got the nice little touch, <clears throat> the finisher here, guys. And uh, whoop, we are going to be delivering checkmate. Just be careful not to stalemate, though. So you got to be careful about this idea. So what do you think we're going to do? We're going to check the king. Book. King's going to go in the corner. Knight covering nicely the g8 square. And now finally, guys, checkmate in a move. Bingo, you guys found it. Bishop onto f6 and checkmate being delivered here. How many moves? 32 moves. Hmm, maybe I could have done it sooner, but probably uh, talk too much. But anyway, talking has its serves its purpose because guys, I hope it's clear. Again, you're gonna checkmate the king on the color of your bishop. Uh, try to drive the king at the edge. It's thi So this is a must. You need to drive the king at the edge and you need to having that pattern exactly as I showed you with the knight in between the two kings and the bishop by the side and you're going to employ the W technique. If you want more practice, just use the machines and practice against the computer once, ten times, hundreds times uh, until you actually master it or join my live stream and... Uh, for free in a very friendly session. I'm going to show you guys uh, how to execute this one again, if it wasn't clear in this video. But then again, if something needs to be highlighted maybe a bit more, drop me a message, tell me what exactly aspect isn't clear enough, and we'll try to look into this. Thanks for watching this uh, short video, guys. Enjoy the Knight and Bishop checkmate. Heck, enjoy the chess. I'm very much into this beautiful art. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.